That means something totally different now, doesn't it? Real classy, you know? Ow, ow, ow. Assemble! You might be watching this video and this stuff is coming to you. everyone how are you hope you're having a good day and you're staying dry it's just started to rain here where i am i'm in gloucester keys for my morning walk and uh yeah no hood so i wasn't prepared for this smattering of rain i love it here i used to live here and we're gonna walk right around there so as i mentioned i am in gloucester keys which was my home for two years i moved to gloucester i moved right here into the uh church flat <laughs> which was my home for two years until I married Joe and then I moved into the home I'm in now. It was nice being near the restaurants and the pubs. If you want to nip out for a late night bite, it's all there. And you get to hear all the drunks on their way home at three in the morning. So that was also a plus. I had some good times here though, uh, particularly the, I remember the 2018 World Cup. We watched a lot of the games around here in the pubs and stuff. It was a good summer, wasn't it that? Good memories that, football was coming home. We were down in Coronas. Now football has come home in a different way in that we have to watch all the games at home and uh, we're down in Corona in a different way. Margaret Keenan is the first person in the world to receive the Pfizer vaccine outside trials. That means something totally different now, doesn't it? So back in July, I hadn't seen my uh, parents and my sister Grace for six months. And when restrictions were lifted, we decided we would all meet up and we met up in a uh, car park in Bristol. <laughs> Real classy, you know? They gave us, me and Joe, a little hamper. And in the hamper was all different things that we liked, you know, from, uh, you know, bottles of wine to cheeses, chutneys, crackers, chocolate, all that kind of stuff. And it was all stuff that we specifically, they knew that we would enjoy. And they'd made up this little hamper just to let us know that they'd been thinking of us. And I was thinking today, that would make an awesome Christmas gift, like a Christmas hamper. So I've got somebody in mind. I don't think they watch the videos that often. I'm gonna make a Christmas hamper for somebody basically today. So I'm gonna go to m and It's not just food, it's m and food after all. You know, a nice idea for you. If you're thinking, what can I get my friend this year for Christmas? What do you get the person who's got everything? Well, you get them a Christmas hamper and this is how you do it. Right, arrived in Cheltenham. Go to the uh, bigger m and I think the one here is a little bit bigger than Gloucester. Got my bag, because I care about the planet, and I'm gonna go and uh, see what I can find for this hamper. Now, m and Christmas time, might be quite busy, so I might not film that much. <laughs> so I might have to show you what I've got at home, but I'll get, maybe I'll get a few shots. Here's what I got. Here's, here's the shots I was brave enough to film. Yeah, that was it. That was literally all I filmed. <laughs> it was busy in there, okay? I feel like the shops have turned now. You know, up to this point, everyone was just happy to be out again. You know, everyone's friendly. A lot of frowning and, I don't know, just aggression in my uh, trip to m and just then. So, didn't film very much because I was just trying to survive, basically. You know, when it gets close to Christmas, it goes from being, you know, a bit of fun to being, right, it's Christmas soon. I've got to get everything. I've got to get my presents. I've got to get my veg, my turkey. And that was the vibe today in M&S. Also managed to get myself a turkey sandwich for lunch because it's going on two o'clock now and the hunger pangs have started to kick in. But I've got everything I need. Hamper is ready to go. Let's go home and let's assemble. Assemble, assemble. Hamper. hamper. If you're in the market for one of them sort of festive Christmassy sandwiches, M&S one, best one I've tried so far, by far. Sometimes they're too dry, aren't they? The turkey sandwiches I find, the ones in the packets. You know what I mean? I mean, this kind of thing. But this one is honestly spot on. I said you asking me to step in, to step into Christmas, man. Uh, man, man. Yes, you. Yes, it's me. What's the matter with you? Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> what are you doing listening to Radio 1? Dude, I love you, man. Cheers, Shane. You're a diamond. Oh, I love, love it. you, man. I don't know if you guys saw I'm a Celebrity this year. I should probably turn that down because I'll get copyrighted. But me and Joe were really into it this year. We loved it. Fair play to uh, the people who put these shows on. I'm a celebrity, Bake Off, etc. It was the tonic for what has been a pretty bad year for a lot of people. Oh, and there we go. I'm home. I've got everything I need from a hamper, which I've got here. I've just decorated that with some tissue paper inside. And I've got a nice selection of Christmassy things, tasty things. 
There's a few things that I am going to be putting in here still that I haven't bought yet. Um, some stuff needs to be refrigerated. I wanted to put some fancy cheeses in there and different things. But I'm going to put those in at the last minute just before I give them to the, the individual whose hamper this will be. It may be you, as I've said already, you might be watching this video and this stuff is coming to you, but it is going to uh, somebody that we, we love very dearly, or two people that we love very dearly, a couple that we love very dearly. We have got, I'll go through everything with you, and like I said at the end, I'll tell you how much it will cost. Bought the Prosecco, because why not? It's Christmas. I also bought this as well, Ruby Port. Now, port goes very nicely with cheese at Christmas. I was reading yesterday an article about things that go well with cheese, which is a big feature of any Christmas, certainly of our family Christmas. So got a bottle of Ruby Port as well for the individual to enjoy. And to go with that, we will be putting some cheese in the basket. And I also got these wheat crackers, which go very nicely with cheese. I've had those myself previously and they are good. Another thing that's quite common at Christmas is, you know, nuts. Everyone loves a bit of nut at Christmas. <laughs> Got a nice little nut selection. This was from M&S. Oh, I didn't say where everything was from. Prosecco and crackers were from M&S. The port, I believe, was from Sainsbury's. Um, so that was that. And then these nuts as well are also from M&S. Uh, you'll have seen this before because we've actually got one of these ourselves. This is from Wilco, believe it or not. And uh, you put a tea light in the back. And of course, you can't have a candle holder without some candles. So I've got some tea lights as well uh, that will go quite nicely in there. These, by the way, we use these at home ourselves. And these are from Sainsbury's and they're Christmas spice scented and they do smell very festive. So if you're looking for a festive tea light, even just for yourself, get some of those. While we're talking about candles, got this one. This is from M&S, so you know it's going to be good. I haven't Oh yes, that's good. Frankincense and myrrh, as you can see on the front there, £9.50 for that one. Looking good, it looks hamperish, doesn't it? Um, also from m and I got these Belgian flake truffles, which I have had from m and before. These were only £3, these were in the sale. Um, weirdly, because it's Christmas coming up, I would have thought these would be full price, but they weren't. So we got those as well. We also got these, which again, you will have seen these around the house. We have these ourselves at home and have put in there a little Galaxy hot chocolate for each of the recipients because everyone loves a hot chocolate at Christmas, don't they? So pop those in. Got some spiced apple and pear chutney to go with the cheese. I thought that sounded like quite an interesting combo. So, and I know the recipient enjoys a good cheese board. Um, we have also got fluffy socks. This is a man and a woman that we've bought this for. These are from Sainsbury's and these are also from Sainsbury's. These are like thermal socks for men. You can't really get Christmassy socks for men. I did try, um, but we've got some of those for, for him and then for her, some obviously some nice fluffy socks. Jo has got a pair of these herself as well, so those are very nice. And the final thing, I thought you can't have a hamper without something for the bath, some kind of smellies. So I got one of these, which is a lush bath bomb. It was about 350, I think. Snowman Dreaming. The lady said this is the best seller at the moment. So I got one of those as well. And there we go, that's the hamper. Look at that, I think that looks quite impressive. Uh, let me give you a total price. I have got the receipts here. All of this, including the hamper, cost us 83 pounds. Not bad for a Christmas hamper for someone special who perhaps needs it this year. You know, with all the loneliness and all of the kind of uh, distancing we have to do from one another, why not find somebody in your life this year who could do one of these and put it together? And it's fun, you can get things that you know they'll enjoy. Personalize it a little bit. We've done that with this one, we've personalized it. But it was good fun. I really enjoyed putting this together. Hopefully that's been useful to you. Gives you a different kind of Christmas idea because we can all buy somebody a, I don't know, a DVD or a book or whatever, but why not do something like this? So there you go, there's your Christmas hamper, all done. Um, let's get on with our day. Also got to say, we've had loads of lovely Christmas cards and birthday cards for Joe this year. Uh, so thank you so much for those. This is my favorite probably from my sister Grace and Gavin and Stacey. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, and that's my favourite scene as well. If you, I don't know if you've seen um, the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special, but that scene is the best. That's right, I don't remember. So thank you for that. Thank you for all the cards. I'm sure you can probably see yours here if you're watching this video. We are very, very appreciative of your cards and of your love and of your support. Ah.